She was 18 years old with her whole life ahead of her. Now Bobby Ann McLeod is dead. Police suspect she was murdered and those that loved her are grieving. Was this bus stop the place where she was last seen alive? Did she get willingly into a car with people she knew or were they strangers? As police look for the tiniest details to help answer the questions, so on the other side of the road, the tributes mount. Amongst the many people who've been paying their respects is Bobby Ann McLeod's brother Lee. He led tributes on social media, saying, Until we meet again, sis, I love you. You didn't deserve this. Such a beautiful and talented girl, and to have you as my little sister, the adventure and journey we had been on will always be treasured. Now go, rest easy. And from the city, thoughts on the loss of a teenager and their future. Well, she's had her whole life snatched away from her. She'll never be married, she'll never have children, she'll never have a career. It's very devastating. Bobby was last seen leaving her home in Liam around 6pm on Saturday. She planned to catch a bus at Sheepstore Road and meet friends in the city centre, but never arrived, and calls to her phone went to voicemail. On Monday, police appealed for help and later say her phone had been found. After extensive searches, police found a woman's body at Bobby Sand South Hams yesterday, six miles from her home. Detectives are currently questioning two men aged 24 and 26. The two men who were arrested on suspicion of murder remain in police custody at this time. And we do not anticipate this to change throughout the day. So many tributes and even more unanswered questions. How, why and who would do this to a teenage girl? As this community mourns, so criminal evidence is being gathered. Tonight a poignant tribute here. Smeaton Tower lit in purple the colour used to shine a light on abuse and violence towards women. Rupert Evelyn, ITV News, Plymouth.